let me tell you about my chemical peel experience I decided that I wanted to do a chemical peel because I suffer from some hyperpigmentation primarily on my cheeks um, and it's something I've thought about for a while and I just felt like there wasn't enough like YouTube experiences and like articles online of like chemical peels on like women of color um, so I was hesitant at first luckily I found an esthetician that I trusted and I had been working with her a little bit before the chemical peel and I started to like the results that we were getting from just like really building a strong skin routine at home that I was like okay you know what I'm ready for the next step and that's why I did a chemical peel her name is exo shy um, I'll tag her and her her salon is called exo beauty lab so you should definitely check her out if you want to do this um, highly recommend so I did the chemical peel last Wednesday and um, today makes literally over a little over a week one day past a week um, and I would say I'm mostly done peeling. I have like a little bit, barely, you can't notice, like my neck um, was the last thing to peel and maybe a little bit of my hairline, but you can't tell either because like very little flakes at this point, but most of it has come and gone. She's also located in Brooklyn, so I had to make a little bit of a trek over there, but it was well worth it. Chemical peels can help with fine lines. It can help with hyperpigmentation. There's chemical peels that can help with acne. Um, that's why I think it's important to find someone you trust because they can really customize it and recommend like what's best for your skin. Again, like I said, I have hyperpigmentation. It's something like very minor that I just was like, you know what, I don't wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. So I would prefer if the hyperpigmentation wasn't there. And I would say most of it is probably self-inflicted. If you don't know hyperpigmentation, a lot of it comes from if you irritate your skin or irritate the melanin, it will produce more melanin causing the hyperpigmentation. Um, so be aware of that and I used to pop pimples so if you can avoid popping pimples do it and it's a habit that I'm working really hard to break so that I don't reverse what I'm doing um, before I get into the process just one more thing to note usually one chemical peel isn't enough to like get a night and day difference I do think I have a really good experience with my chemical peel but I do plan to do it at least one more chemical peel maybe two um, and again an esthetician someone who's licensed can really recommend the strength and how often you should do it. So just the process, I'll go through first. I went there, it took maybe 40 minutes, maybe a little bit less, but first she cleanses the skin. You have to have like very fresh skin. I had done my face routine in the morning. I went in the afternoon after work. So she cleansed my skin first. I didn't ask her what she did it with, so you gotta visit her. But she cleansed my skin and then she went into adding the acids. It was a mixture of two acids and I can like find the name of it. I'll put it down below. Um, but she it was a mixture of acids and she did three layers because I did a deep peel um, She did the three layers. She waited in between of each layer waited for um, I guess it to cool off and I'll explain what that meant and then um, She ended with a retinol and then she gave me a kit to take home that had the treatments that I should be doing day and night for the next days to follow people often ask me do chemical peels hurt I would say it's not pain like as if like you like cut yourself or something it's heat and it only lasts like a very like 30 45 seconds so I think it's very doable and she can give you a fan to kind of cool off your face but when she puts that layer of the acid on your face your face starts to heat up um, and it heats up for about 30 seconds and then cools off or like 45 seconds and then cools off so that was something like I did not expect I had not heard anyone say that was like the experience but she said it was completely normal that's what it's supposed to do um, but you have that heat burst happen three times because I did three peel three layers um, After that did it hurt as it was peeling? No, it was uncomfortable at times Especially like right in here the as the skin is getting tight and ready to peel off like you can feel it getting tight So it just felt like extremely dry skin and like it helps when you do your morning routine or your night routine that she tells you about but besides that, you kind of just have to deal with it. And it doesn't come off like, oh, I need, like, it's hurting. It's just like, oh, I need to itch because it's dry. So I would say it does not hurt. I think, and I say I have a medium pain tolerance. So I think it's doable for anyone. But again, they have light strength. They have medium strength. They have deep strength. I did do a deep strength, so I probably felt a little bit more irritation than um, someone who would have done a light strength peel. And then the result that I have experienced, so I can come in and you can see I have like a lot of hyperpigmentations on my cheek. 
uh, barely any on my forehead but I usually just get it in here and I would say like it's definitely lighter and it looks more even um, and I can probably tag a f I can try to add a photo somewhere in here so you can see like the before and after I'm satisfied with it I do not it is a little bit of it's not a little bit it is an investment so I would say like really know why you're doing it before you decide to do it and I think one benefit that made me comfortable doing it me and shy were working together for maybe like three or four months before I got the peel I went for just a regular facial one time um, really enjoyed that went back for another facial but then I also asked her about my skin care routine and she was very helpful she was just like here are products that you're currently using that you should keep using maybe some products you should avoid and here's some things you can add in you already know face care can be very expensive or skincare can be very expensive so you don't want to have to buy a whole new thing so I, I'm happy that she didn't force me to buy a whole new set of products um, but I did take her recommendations of like different masks that she recommended and I also bought a steamer and a humidifier and I do those less often but I wanted to really invest in my skin so I find them useful and then um so I did that second facial and then I did a third facial which I really enjoy and also recommend it was a oxygen facial and my skin was like glowing four days after like didn't have to do anything and it was just glowing I love that as well um so this was the, the natural next step for me and my experience I'm looking forward to doing it again um and usually peels last in the sense of like you permanently peeled off that top layer of skin um, so they will last. You just have to be very diligent on not picking your face and wearing sunscreen because the sun will darken any spots you currently have. Um, so those are two things I currently do. But yeah, that was my experience. Let me know if you have any questions.